What's up basketball fans? Back with me Rocky Padilla and we are now at Universitas Pita Harapan and next to me is Coach Steve Matka. How are you doing coach? Good. So you guys are holding a tournament for high school and junior high school. And can you talk about this tournament? Yeah, what what we want to do is is bring young people onto our campus, give them a chance to look around, uh, and maybe you know talk to them about potentially coming to Pay in the future. So this is uh, they have I think six high school teams and six junior teams. Why is it important for you to have uh, both classes for this tournament? Um, if the future is going to be bright for Indonesian basketball, we have to keep younger. We got to go younger, younger, younger. Uh, so to have a, a junior high tournament and get them excited about going to a university, get them excited about the future, so they'll put in the hard work. I think that's that's why we're doing. And I think you guys did it last uh, ten years ago. Yeah. So what happened? Why why now you're doing it again? Uh, well, we've been doing a lot of other things the past 10 years, but I decided that this would be a good year to do this again. Um, for some reason, it just uh, became an idea. Uh, actually, one of our rectorate asked me, said, hey, have you guys done a high school tournament? I said, yeah, we did in the past. She said, can you do it again? I'm like, absolutely. So we're doing it again. So you've been in Indonesia for 22 years now. So what do you see about uh, potential of the young players in Indonesia? Well, we also run an academy, and we have guys all the way, guys and girls, all the way down to five years age. Uh, what I what I see now is there's more basketball being played. There's better basketball being played. There's more energy and excitement about basketball, and it's spreading out from Jakarta. Uh, and so I think the future is good. I just think that the players need to work at a higher level. They need to keep pushing themselves uh, to grow, to grow as people, to grow as players, uh, so that Indonesian basketball can reach uh, another level. So I know you coach the Universitas Pita Harapan also. I know you've seen so many players in Jakarta, even probably around Indonesia. What do you think the players in Indonesia need to improve on for them to elevate their game? They need to improve their mindset. The mindset is, if they're good enough here, they're good enough. They can't be good enough here. They, they have to compete in their heads against the best in the world. They have to see themselves competing against people from Eastern Europe, America, Australia. Uh, they have to be able to say, okay, that's what they do, I'm gonna do it better. But they don't, they don't have that mindset. They just look around and go, oh, we can beat a team by 40 or 50, like Raghunan did today, yes. and they're good enough. No, they're not, because they go to my country and they get smacked around by 50. Yes, that's so true. So they're not good enough. Uh, and I think they just have to keep pushing themselves with the right mindset to grow and become the best they can possibly be. So when you see all these young players that are competing in this tournament, I know this is the second day, right? Yeah. So what do you see the, what do you think about the skills of these players? Um, okay, mm -hmm. not, not special. Yeah. Again, I, I want to see what I, okay, Raghunan is obviously the best, the best team. They have the most talent. But what I want to see them do is do things perfectly. I mean, their footwork, the, the angle at which the pass is made, the small things, the screen that's set, the communication on the court, do the small things, get really good at it, and then you can compete against teams from China, teams from uh, Philippines, if you get really good at the basics of basketball. And you can do that even playing against uh, teams that just aren't as talented, if you work at it. You have a big vision, I feel like, for Indonesian basketball. Can you share it with us? Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like two things. Uh, first of all, of course, basketball is a great tool. Uh, it gives people opportunities uh, for an education. It gives opportunities for growth, personal growth. It, it develops all the soft skills. Uh, and in the workplace today, soft skills matter. How you can get along with other people, how you can personally grow and help somebody else grow in the workforce, that's really key to their success for the next 20, 30, 40 years. That's, that's really important. The second thing is, I, I want Indonesia uh, basketball to end up being the the diamond in Southeast Asia. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm I'm nobody, 
but I'm spending my life here, and I hope the game I love, and I hope the, the guys I teach and, and the players I get to play uh, out on this court grow and can achieve more than they ever thought they could. Um, why not? Uh, you know, back home, when I when I coached back home, I got to see some of my players play in the NBA. It is exciting. It's the best league in the world. And I would love to see some of these players be able to compete uh, in higher levels. Uh, why not? Why not give it the best we got? It might take a while though to be for Indonesia to be the diamond of the Southeast Asia because you know Philippines are way but ahead. Phil yeah, but you know what? We played against a Filipino team last year, the, the Filipino National Under-19. So Upeha, we played against them. And yeah, they beat us by 30. But you know what? They're not that much above us. And that's just, that's their national team in 1900 against my team, just to play out. It's a 30 point game. Okay. So, that was still close. We can do something. You take the best of the young talent in Indonesia, we can do something. I have to be able to do something. In fact, right now, what I love seeing is they're bringing some uh, Eastern European coaches over. Yes. And I think that's a great, that's a great idea. Um, you know, I, I have uh, whatever I can do in, in, this, in the place in which I have, they can also do more. Um, and all together, well, even with what you're doing, you're, you're making it known to, to young people all over this country. Uh, we can all work together. We can, we can do this. Yeah, what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to bring all the basketball community together. And like you said, the Eastern European coaches, they are really, really tough. You know, players now can learn new things from them also. But back to the Pita Harapan Cup. So, do you plan to do this yearly? Yeah, I think if this is a success and it reaches our goals, I could see us doing this and making this a major tournament. Uh, in, in Indonesia. It's, it's about money and time and you know, putting it all together, but I think we can do it. Uh, we have supporters. We have we have people who want to see us grow. So. Do you feel like maybe the next step for this tournament is to bring like school, high school from other island, maybe from uh, yeah. Sumatra, Kalimantan, or maybe East Java? Yeah, we, we actually, so we have ran tournaments. So when, I, when I'm saying Kalita Harapan Cup 10 years ago, it's that name, that brand. But we actually have ran tournaments not too many years ago, and we have brought teams from Manado and Bandung and uh, Simarong and different places. So yeah, we'll, we can do that. We tried this year. We just didn't have enough money to help pay their trip. And because we didn't have the money to help support their trips here, uh, they couldn't come. Uh, but if we have more money, of course we can do more. Okay, Coach Matt, thank you so much. And for everyone that wants to watch and maybe support their school uh, at Lita Harapan Cup, you guys can come to Universitas Lita Harapan from 8 February to 14 February. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Coach Matt, for your time. Good luck. You. And I hope we both can do a lot of things for Indonesian basketball and help Amen. elevate the game over here. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next video. Peace. Thank you.